We continue through the Madden Challenge. Day one, wild card action, and it's gonna be Crush starting off on offense. It's Tyree Kill up to the 25 yard line as we take a look at the prize pool and look at how much we move up. Wild card round, you can get 2,500 bucks, 2,500 bucks from the quarterfinals, but then 10K in the, to the semis. I mean, the money really ramps up. I mean, this is one game of Madden for 2,500. Like that, you can't, you, got, you can't overthink that. That's a big Madden money game to play. A lot of money on the line here in the Madden Challenge. TD, I got 60 bucks in my pocket, and I'd be uncomfortable <laughs> playing for that in Madden. I'm just saying, like 2,500 bucks ramps up the pressure. What are we going to see offensively uh, from Crush? We saw in the stats he's a top five passer. Yeah, he loves the gun bunch formation. He likes to air it out. He struggled a little bit in his first two games, got it together in that third game a little bit. Missed a couple field goals, though, but um, <laughs> well, missed one field goal. But he, he likes to air it out. He's prolific. He laughs with those 818 boys, guys like Kiv and Wesley, who love to air it out as well. Yeah, you know, when you got guys like Kiv and Wes as your lab partners, you're going to find some of those route combos that get your – Receivers open downfield. Rage, on the other hand, defensively wasn't too bad through the group. Struggled offensively, but on defense was able to get some stops. Yeah, he was. Rage has played good. He just got to get. He's got to play a little smarter. That's the key to Rage. This game is keep the mental mistakes low and play a lot smarter. Is, can Rage get any closer to the console? Like he is, he is right up in there. He is locked in. Baker Mayfield at the helm for Crush. He'll dump it off early. A little rhythm throw to Evan Ingram. Yeah, Crush in that Houston Texans offensive playbook. One of the best playbooks for the Gun Bunch, as we said. And he goes with another little drag underneath right there to Evan Ingram for a nice little gain. Second and eight now. Let's see what he can do. It's got Kenyon Drake at halfback. Crush was saying before we got out here how much he likes Kenyon Drake, that mix of speed and power. So that's Debo Samuel in motion. Going to hand off to Kenyon Drake. And that's what he's talking about. It seems like Drake finds a way to fall forward a lot. Yeah, whenever you see that fall forward animation, you love it because that was only like a one, two yard gain. He falls forward to make it a three, four yard gain. So whenever you can do that, you love it. Third and three now as Rage looking to get a defensive stop early in this game, get a little momentum, something he hasn't had a lot of through the day today. He's been having to fight back a lot. Mayfield's going to chuck it up. Got a man over the top, it's Tyree Kill off his fingertips and Crush can't believe he wasn't able to pull that one in. Wow, I thought Crush would have clicked on a little bit sooner, tried to swerve him a little better. Uh, very unfortunate if you're Crush and huge for Rage. You know, we're already in a big fourth and three. You gotta think Crush is gonna go for it, and he is. He's got Tyree Kill split wide to left. Samuel Harrison and Ingram in the bunch on the right side. Baker Mayfield with Kenyon Drake. Fourth and three, he'll drop back to pass. Looks over the middle, oh, touch, oh, oh, and Rage's defense steps up. That could have been a pick. Smart play there from Rage to bat that one down and not give up the yardage. That was crazy because it looked like he had a step on him. All of a sudden, he got bumped mid-play, and then Rage was able to click on and make a play on it. Huge stop. Rage is in business. TD, how much confidence, how much of that is a confidence boost just to get that stop and to do it by a nice user play clicking on. Yeah, that's huge. Whenever you get ball at half and then you come out that first drive and you stop your opponent, you feel like you won the game sometimes. You really do. It's such an advantage. And on the flip side for Crush, you know, we have seen at times Crush sort of lets bad plays get to him, can let it pile up. For him, it's got to be about taking a deep breath, getting a stop the other way. Yeah, that first drive is always the toughest. And, you know, for Crush, when you get stopped like that, it really is a downer. He's going to have to battle back. you got to fight through adversity if you want to be a champion, if you want to get to that Elite Eight. He's got to do it. See Rage's offense for the first time. Right out of that strong eye. Very familiar out of the Denver playbook. Russell Wilson at the helm. He'll throw that quick wheel route to Devontae Freeman. That's a player we saw from Rage in group play. Not only get some carries, but able to get it out of the backfield and break some tackles. Yeah, he loves that Devontae Freeman out of the backfield. A lot of, a lot of wheel routes, a lot of table routes. Mixes it up because he knows that uh, in the ed edge blitz defense that's so popular, they're going to blitz a lot. Those flats are going to be open. Talking with Rage before the tournament, he said how much this was an opportunity to make a name for himself as Kenyon Drake gets stuck on his own blocker. You know, Rage really felt like after that classic performance where he really stormed onto the scene he really wants to be taken seriously as a Madden player yeah he did he had a great run in that he had he, he, he chose the Steelers club did not have a great run in that loss in the online portion so he's trying to bounce back here and get into that Madden boys in a great spot right now Steelers club no slouch though Joel deliverance the three-time champ quick 
throw to Rob Gronkowski. Up to the 19-yard line. Gronk been a big target. You got it. Two things I want to point out, Nick. That Gronk card, I think, is so underrated. He's been a beast. He falls forward. He can truck. He's been so good for Rage. And also, he loves this delayed uh, streak route, delayed fade route. He's been hitting Gronk with that over the middle all day long. He's done a nice job of mixing up the routes with Gronk. Sometimes they'll have him underneath on, like, a hitch route. Sometimes they'll send him deep. Either way, Gronk has been a monster. There's a monster in the middle of that defense for Crush. Deion Jones with the tackle. Yeah, that's the thing I'm saying with Rages. He's mixed up his play call so well. He's been balanced, running, passing. His offenses look great. And then he gets down here towards the red zone. He makes a mistake. That's the thing he's got to smarten up. He's got to make limit those mental mistakes. Russell Wilson. Oh, he might have had the corner out. It might have been there. But who else? Aaron Donald, number 99 with the play. Yeah, 99. And looks pretty cool in those powder blue uniforms. Honestly, I love these powder blue Chargers uniforms. But that Aaron Donald, such a beast. 99, oh so fine as on third and 21. Nice conservative play call. That might have been one earlier in the groups. You might have seen Rage maybe air it out, but right there he knows how important the points are. Terrific point. That's what we're saying with Rage. Be smart. You got the early stop. You're getting ball and have. Take your points. Don't do anything that, you know, don't do anything dumb. And he did just that. So the kick is up. It is good. Rage gets the stop on Crush. A four and out. Cash is in for points. Three nothing here in the wild card round. And if you feel crushed, though, you do feel good. You hold him to three. Um, you got to come down now and get some points on the board. It's up to the 26-yard line. Crushes offense. Got just a couple small plays. Really a bad read on fourth down. That actually was a little more deceptive. It, it was there for just a split second. Yeah, he had to step on him. And now the heat oh. is coming. Oh, screamer off the edge. The former Buckeye, Bradley Roby, with the sack. What a way to start this drive defensively for Rage. Yeah, phenomenal defense. In that 2-3-6, big dime and coming off the edge right there. Nice screamer on first down. Puts Crush in a hole, second and 18. See all those defenders on the line. Only one down lineman. Everyone else stand up, so it's hard to diagnose where the pressure is coming from. Baker dropping back, looking left side. Tyree Kill, curl route. We'll hit the end of one, three, nothing. So rare to see a guy like Tyree Kill on something that's not a streak. <laughs> yeah, I know. A concept we've seen a lot today from these bunch players. They have that backside curl, and on the bunch side, they usually have a post going over the top. It's really been stressing the user. Great play right there by Crush. And Crush pick up a third and seven. 818 boys, couple of them here in San Francisco cheering on. Their 818 brother Crush. On the right side. That's just simple. That's just simple back to basics football. Slant routes cross across the middle. Yeah, Crush loves motioning his slot receiver to the other side. He puts him on a slant majority of the time, but sometimes he'll put him on a deep end. He's been going to that all day long. Now first and ten and Crush get back to the run game with Kenyon Drake. Sure looks like he's setting up that way. Ah, but there's Dawkins. Oh, you got to look out for Brian Dawkins. Huge hit stick right there. Jeez. <laughs> Did you feel that one? Yeah, like, that was I, like, I'm a little sore after that yeah, hit. Yeah, that was, that was a big one. And Rage is playing, you know, great defense right now. He's not giving up anything big. Trying to make him dot him underneath down the field. So we work down through the second quarter. Big shout out to everybody on Twitch and YouTube watching with us. He's looking what? for a hill over the top, but Alexander underneath says, no way, Jose, we're going the other way. Rage's defense, huge in the first half. Huge pick. Crush thought he had a step on him, but he didn't. That Tyree Kill has not been great for Crush. On that post route earlier, he thought he had him again. And Tyree Kill's really costing Crush right now. Rage with a huge turnover. Talked about that secondary. Jire Alexander, so much skill underneath. Even when it looks like there's a step, Alexander makes a play. Wilson drops back on first and 10. He finds Anderson, who spins off a man, and he's going to take this one to the house. Nice and easy underneath. Robbie Anderson turns on the burners. Rage in control. What an animation he got with that low ball curl. He got that speed boost animation right after he catches it. And he's able to take it to the crib for a huge touchdown. Rage up 10 nothing. The look on Crush's face is, what do I do now? You can see right there, just a little bit of a head shake. TD, it seemed like just a, just a get back, get back into it, man. As we take a look at this one more time, there it is. Pivots to the outside, and I don't. You got Derwin James, you got Deion Sanders, but Robbie Anderson had some burners.
Yeah, I actually just posted a tip on my YouTube on how to get that extra speed burst. When you keep tapping RB, you get that extra speed burst down the field, and Rage does just that. Great play right there. TD with the slickest plug. Check him out on YouTube. What a play right there. That might be the best play of the day. 10 out of 10. <laughs> user must be proud. I know User is sitting there like, how can I slip a plug User needs his own TV show, man. Oh, it'd be so highly rated. Hand up to Kenyon Drake. Left side. Lots of room over there. Yeah, and Crush has really got to get something going here. You know, he felt like he, he feels like he's playing good, though. If you're Crush right now, you don't feel like you're playing bad. You, you thought you had steps on your guys on two of those plays, and it's just not going your way right now. He's got to bounce back. Back into that gun punch. 248 and counting in the first half. As Baker Mayfield steps up. That ball's out. He takes a big hit, but Ryan Ramchick scoops oh, it up. Baby, we haven't talk really talked like about that, it a whole lot, TD. What do that. you think of this Baker Mayfield at quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I don't love him. I don't think he's the best, but, you know, I don't know his selections he had. He might have had, like, Cam Newton or something. You don't want Cam Newton, but Crush playing a little reckless right now. He needs to, he needs to slow it down, control himself. There's plenty of time left in this game. 216 and County could take this to the two minute warning if he so desired, but he will take the snap. Stepping up and sitting down. As a Browns fan, I saw that way too much from Baker Mayfield as Vic Beasley makes the play. Yeah, Rage is playing phenomenal defense right now. And that 146. And this is a big third and 11 now if you're crushed. You really got to get it going. Worst part is if you don't convert this one, you're giving the ball back to Rage with the opportunity to put this one out of reach. Mayfield, waiting. Oh, that's a perfect read right there to Marvin Harrison. Great job there by Crush. Calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, that's the route combo Crush has been going to all day. He motions over that smart routed deep in route. Then he has the crosser coming from the bunch side. Really tough to stop. He's going to audible down to a stretch here. Mayfield with a handoff to Drake. By the way, guys, don't forget, you can find Crush in the Madden gameplay program right now inside of Madden Ultimate Team. Get your favorite players on the field. TD, what are you getting on the sidelines? I need my no, coach, man, T. Davis. That would be pretty cool, man, being a coach in the game. I, th I assume awesome. it'd be tough to program the hair. I assume that's <laughs> the toughest part. It's Mayfield outside of the pocket. And he'll slide down. Pick it up, too. Yeah, nice little gain right there. And Crush in a third and nine situation. He has plenty of time, three timeouts. You don't want to make a mistake. You can see the look on Rage. He's thinking, he's thinking, what should I do? He's playing great defense, though, right now. Yeah, you're seeing Rage really drop back into coverage, going, I'll give you anything you want for four yards, but I'm not going to let you hit that big shot over the top. Samuel comes in motion, Mayfield. Oh, he might have had that cross. So that's the tough part, though. Playing defense with Leighton Van Der Esch underneath, you usually can get it over top of those linebackers. Crush going to sell us a long field goal, 53 yards from the right hash mark. Oh, but it's up and good, 10-3 the score. Crush hits a big field goal here. Earlier he missed about a 30-yarder, hits a huge 53-yarder to keep himself in the game. And the thing I love about Rage is he's playing so much smarter now. He's not letting anything beat deep him. He's just playing, he's just playing much smarter than he has all day. And it, that's all that matters now because those first few games didn't matter. You're in the tournament now. That doesn't matter. It's all about what you can do right now to keep advancing. Saw after Rage was able to win that final game against Dives, a lot of emotion coming out. And you wondered how he would be able to turn around and play coming off such an emotional win. So far, it doesn't seem like it's affected him. No, it doesn't. And, and like we said, it doesn't matter what he did in those games. It all does is all that matters is what he does right now. And he looks like he's content right here, running the clock. Let's see. I think Crush called a timeout right there. I don't think he liked what he had on defense. Only 25 but, seconds left. Surprised to see him content to run this clock out with a couple timeouts in his pocket. A little bit. I think he wants to get a big game, well, and he does. Does he get a big game? That's Devontae Freeman to the 48. Now Rage is going, hey, hold on. We're not ready for halftime quite yet. That's exactly what he wanted to happen. And now look for him to air it out, try to get one more play to get in field goal range. 10 to 3, your score. Rage. Points here, puts him up by multiple scores. It's got Russell Wilson at the helm. What a season Wilson had with the Seahawks. Definitely would be NFL MVP if it weren't for a guy named Lamar Jackson. I don't know if I've ever seen a player have such a good year 
and so obviously not be MVP as Rage goes with a run there for Kenyon Drake, loses three. Yeah, interesting play call. I know Rage is wanting to play smarter, but he's being a little too conservative on that play call. You gotta go to the air here and try to get one more play to get into field goal range. Kenyon Drake now split out to the left side. 15 seconds and counting, quick drop. He'll find Gronkowski underneath, fighting through tackles to the 41 yard line, but the final timeout taken by Rage. Yeah, he's in a tough spot because he really needs a couple more yards. He needs about, you know, I would say four or five yards here to give himself a chance, but he has no timeout. You, got, you cannot take a sack, you gotta get out of bounds. And you gotta get the first down. Yeah, from here would be a 58 yard field goal. So what do you think? Five yards yeah, comfortable? Yeah, you need about five, six yards. And even then, a 53 yard, we saw Crushers hit one, but it was kind of tough. But 53 should be good enough. 10 seconds remaining. Crush looking for the defensive stop to get a little momentum going into halftime. He's going with some out routes here. He's going to look to the sidelines. Wilson, seven seconds. He's looking for an, oh, looking for Adam Thielen. Nice swat, good click on by Crush. Yeah, I don't love the play call there by Rage. And the suggestions say he could kick this field goal, which is very surprising. I don't think he's going to have enough leg to get this, but he's going to try it. Do, is this just me, or does it, this feel like an off the bottom of the crossbar? He got max power on it. Can he clear it? There's zeros on the clock. And he missed it by a lot. It wasn't even particularly close. As we'll go to halftime. This one far from over. It is 10 to 3. Rage on top of Crush. Got some cool stuff coming up in the Madden community. For more on that, let's throw it to the desk and James. Nick Mazesco, thank you so much. If you think you're the best head-to-head -head Madden player around, prove it. Take your talents to Anaheim, California, where DreamHack will be organizing their next Madden tournament featuring a $25,000 prize pool. Registration is limited, so don't miss your opportunity to compete against the best Madden players around. Visit DreamHack.com slash Anaheim for more information. Meanwhile, let's take a live look into the Snickers Players Lounge. So many folks just kind of enjoying their day out there. It's been a long day for these folks enjoying themselves. You see Clef waving to the fans out there. You see Goes Drini conversing in the back. Oh, we got so many great players all hanging out in the Snickers Players Lounge. All right. 10 to 3, your halftime score here in your first wild card elimination game to bring you the second half. To bring us to close, it's Nick Mazesco and T. Davis. James, appreciate it. Boy, I cannot wait for DreamHack out in Anaheim. I mean, that has been so fun. Such a great add to the Madden community. We saw them in Dallas and Atlanta. It's so nice having some additional Madden tournaments outside the MCS where you can really scratch that Madden itch when you want to. Oh yeah, that, those DreamHack events were awesome. I can't wait to be out there in Anaheim, California. It's going to be a blast. Well, Rage gets the ball to start the second half. T. Davis, great Rage's first half. A to F overall. You know, I'm going to give him a B, B plus. I, I think he's managed the game. He's played smarter than he has all day. And he's getting this ball at half up seven. You couldn't ask to be in a better position. Rate his glasses management on a score from A to F. <laughs> He just said, we were, we were going, Rage, why aren't you wearing your glasses? Because I don't need them. <laughs> and right now, he's proving us right. He's up 10 to 3. Crush far from out of this. Second and four. The strong eye formation, so versatile. We've seen some deep routes. We've seen some running. There's Howard up the middle. He says, you're going to get nothing there. He's going to stop him for a loss on the play. Set up a third and five. Yeah, you bring up that strong close point, Nick. And the Madden Challenge has been around since 03. Strong close has been around so long. One of the most popular formations every year. I was running this in Madden 12 at tournaments. It's good every year. Ooh, it looked like he had some pressure up the middle. Looking for Gronkowski. You said this card is underrated, and he's been making plays all day. Yeah, he's been throwing a Gronk all day, breaking tackles, trucking people, moving forward. They're right there, Rage. Put him on, man. I mean, you can't really argue. He's making some nice reads. We haven't really seen too many bad ones. Yeah, he's playing great right now, so keep it going. He may not be wearing the glasses, but he's he's getting right up to the screen. You don't need glasses when you're that close. Wilson. On the right oh, side, Derwin James. Oh, he looks so good in powder blue because that's what he oh, normally wears. Oh, Derwin James, man. an absolute stud. 
Crush gets oh. the stop he needs. Yeah, just a bad read. He thought he had a couple steps Damn, on him, and he, you know, he looked like he could maybe get to him, but just you can't throw that route. It was a corner route. Crush is able to click on, make a big pick, and now Crush is in business. We got a ball game. TD, I feel bad. We showed the glasses, then he made a bad read. <laughs> that one's on us. It always goes down it's like on that. on us. It? Marvin Harrison wide open down the field. There's a player that needs no introduction if you're an a, a NFL fan at all. And those heyday teams, Peyton Manning throwing to Marvin Harrison at Reggie Wayne. How good was that offense? And the best. Don't even forget guys like Brandon Stokely in there who was breaking records with Peyton Manning. Just Edger and James running yeah. the ball. Maybe one of the most underrated backs. Mayfield. Uh, that's a screamer off the edge. Ray saying, not so fast, my friend. Bradley Roby with another sack. Crush can't believe his offensive line didn't pick that up. Yeah, great time to dial one up there for Rage. Big second and 18 now. Crush in a tough position. So important to get these players into second and long to make it tough on him. He'll look for Debo Samuel underneath. Trying to get outside of William Shoestring tackle. He might have picked up the first though, and he will indeed. If you're Crush, you're gonna go back to this post cross every play. I mean, this is the play you've had the most success with. It feels like every time he's running, he's getting a big play. That slant is so hard to guard. He has to use her, and when he bites back down on the on the crosser, the slant is there. Crush has been dominating with that play. He's got to keep going back to it. As the fellas mentioned Hold before on. the game, Rage with a win here a gets to 1,100 Hold MCS points. Hike it! Go oh, hike it! It seems like that's. A number that should make you feel pretty comfortable about sealing your spot in here. Crush, on the other hand, really needs to win a couple games to feel comfortable because he's a little farther down. I believe it when I looked, he's like that 17-18 range. Yeah, he's got a win. It's a must win for Crush if he wants to get into the Madden Bowl. And Rage is in a good spot, but you never can be sure, you know. So you definitely want to still win and try to move on. After the encroachment penalty, it's a first and five. We're going to see a little bit of Kenyon Drake down here inside the 20. First red zone opportunity. He's going to be a handoff to Drake. And Rage sent just about everybody, the kitchen sink, the refrigerator, and the dishwasher on that blitz. Yeah, he goes down to a little single back doubles, half back dive, but Rage is all over it. Great defense. So we're nearing the fourth quarter. Don't forget, we got one more wild card game to go, and you're not going to want to miss that one. Henry in action, taking on Lil Man. It's Baker Mayfield, second and five, looking to that corner out. There's Tyreek Hill. Don't forget now, now about get a Freak Tyreek to now the get a stop. There goes that man again. Tyreek Hill finally comes through for Crush, and it's a big touchdown to tie the game. 10, 10, your score. Man, it just seems like whenever you see guys like Tyreek Hill and Hollywood Brown over the top, it's easy here as an armchair quarterback going, how do you forget about them? But they're just that hard to defend. Yeah, they're just so fast. And like we said, Come in on, this mode, up, muck draft, speed is everything. There's one more time. That's just a simple corner out. The safety doesn't bite over, and Tyreek says, uh, gracias, senor. Yeah, it goes with that corner strike, strike play, that outside bunch receiver on a deep corner, back of the end zone. Phenomenal play by Crush, and we got a tie game. Yeah, minute 11 left in the third quarter. Rage's last offensive drive, he threw a pick. Oh, what a cut block on the outside. Damn. There's just too many blue jerseys. Deion Jones. And you can feel it. All the momentum is in Crush's hands right now. He, he's got the emotion going. Rage, you know, you got to step up here. Second and long. Second and a country mile. Look at that hitch route. I love that play call from Rage TD. Just gets a lot of that yardage back. Yeah, that's the, the key right there. You don't want to go for anything deep. You just want to get the yardage back. You're in a somewhat manageable third and 13 here. I look for him to go to a crossing route, maybe another slant. Wilson up the seam. Oh, oh my Grug God. made the play over Howard. Oh, I cannot believe that Grug did that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can see Crush's face. That is sickening, a terrible read by Rage, and it turns into a huge play. What a way to end the third. Put your fours up. It's time to head to the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zeros. Zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers.
As we take a look inside the Snickers Players Lounge, these guys locked in. Lil Man and Henry chilling right now, but they're gonna be locked into competition. By the way, TD, I went in there, they got like four fridges filled with Snickers. I mean, they're lucky that I'm not allowed back there because they'd have three fridges filled with Snickers. <laughs> Looks like the guys back there are just laughing at the read that uh, Rage just made. Can't believe it. Sometimes and Ghost, and Ghost, Ghost is back there. Stick up. Great read. It's it a great, great read, man. Great job. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those plays, though, that you trust your best players. You know got it, got it, got it. the physical gifts that Rob Gronkowski has. But sometimes you just got to look up and say, John, thanks for that one. Appreciate it. First and ten. It's Kenyon Drake right side. Still, He looked like... Honestly, he looked like one of those plays, if you went to watch a high school basketball play game where like one of the players is obviously going to play college, <laughs> he just skies over the top of him. Yeah, right? That Gronk card has been so huge for Rage, man. What a pick. So underrated. It's been, it's been huge for him. Russell Wilson on second down. Derwin James back in coverage. Oh, Ooh, got an inaccurate roll on that one. Oh geez, another scary read right there. He I know I know what he saw. He was trying to get him back inside, but you just can't throw that. Throw that ball away. Third and eight now. Big play in the game here. Alert, 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 alert. Third down. Can Crush get a stop? He sort of feels like he has the momentum right now. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Flip that formation. Kenyon Drake, really, that's been the difference. Rage hasn't been able to get this run game going at all. Wilson drops back, pressure up the middle, he finds Gronk, James makes the tackle short of the blessed. line again. Yeah, a little outrut right there to Gronk. Big decision here, he's gonna kick his field goal. I think it's a smart decision. And Crush really playing much better defense now. And he's gonna have a chance at a money drive. 48 yards from the right hash mark. And TD, this is a moment where if you're, you're Crush, you're feeling great right now because you've been able to get a couple stops and you just held Rage to only a field goal. This is the, wor this is the worst moment in, in my mind as a player, just where you're sitting there holding the A button going, come on, I just want to be ready to kick it. Well, and you're just praying you don't get it blocked too. Yeah, that's the yeah, one thing is you're like, there. you never know with these blocks. And Rage is fortunate to get it off. And he takes the 13-10 lead, and here we go now. Let's see what Crush can do to get to the Elite Eight, down three. It will take it past the 20 to the 23. That's where we'll see Crush's offense back to work. TD, first half, a little bit of a struggle moving the ball, but he seems to have found something here in the second half. Yeah, he has. He looks much better on offense in this bunch formation. When he goes to that post cross play, like we said, he's been great with it. And Rage is stuck on his D tackle. What the fuck? That was just an app. I don't really know what happened there. It looked like it was a. It was a deflection and then almost a catch. And it just ends up second and ten. Just call it incomplete. We'll move to second down. Yeah, I don't even know what to say on that play. That's just one where you move on. You just go, all right, that, that happened. Back into the bunch. Debo Samuel having a nice game. It's Baker Mayfield. Looking left side for Marvin Harrison. Cuts in front of the user. Makes the catch and stays in bounds. Keep that nothing. clock running. Don't complain yeah, about nothing. Yeah, a little scary right there. Rage had a chance. He clicked on but couldn't make a play. And big catch from Marvin Harrison. 3.05 and counting. Don't forget, one more wild card game to go tonight, and it is a doozy. Henry taking on Lil Man. You're not going to want to miss that one. It's Kenyon Drake. Man, two yards per carry for a player that was really good through the groups. Yeah, just can't get anything going on the ground. Kenyon Drake's been huge for him all day, just not coming up for him right here. Back in that gun bunch. Mayfield. First time we've seen him scramble. Again. <laughs> Bounce like a pinball when he's sliding, but he'll still pick up enough to cut it to a third and one, and we'll hit the two minute warning. Here we go, Nick. Two minute warning. Madden challenge. Historic Madden tournament. This is why we play. These are the pressure moments. Mayfield. He's going for it all. Looking over the top, can Hill get there? One-handed, Tyreek the Let's Freak Hill go. puts Crush on top. He's dancing Our because forward. Crush has the lead inside of two Damn. minutes. And he shows the emotion. Tyreek Hill comes he off he huge to be again game. for him. He ain't even supposed to be what in a game. play. And he's talking that junk. What a play. Rage That's is laughing bad. over it. 
We got a ball game. Let's go. Uh, every NFL fan who is not a Chiefs fan goes, I've seen that play too many times. Might we see it on Sunday? 17 to 13. Let's take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. It's simple, TD. Look for Tyreek over the top. Yeah, I thought he had the crosser, but he goes deep to Tyreek with all that speed. I'm standing up now. I'm ready to go. I'm fired up. Pressure off the I edge. He somehow that. gets it off and finds Marvin Harrison. Give him eight on the play. Yeah, a little nice little slant right there. It's a nice completion. And here we go. Minute 44. It's like a parade of people coming in. The <laughs> desk is getting reset. Everyone's standing up. Everyone's, Everyone's moving around. Everyone's on their feet. RG's on his feet. The camera operators are on their feet, but they're always on their feet. Wilson, second and two to the flat. That's Marvin Harrison, first down and out of bounds at the 45. Another nice little dot right there. Motions over that out route. Marvin Harrison, great route running, a lot of speed. He's able to get that first down. Locked in. Single elimination, no more chances. Crush needs this to stay alive for the Manable and to avoid that LCQ ladder. Minute 41 left. What a ball game we've had here. We got one more to go. Wilson on first down. Waiting. Looking left side. Uh, how? It's inaccurate. If you're raged, though, you're really happy that was inaccurate because Freeman was not open. Exactly. If that was accurate, the game is probably over and Crush is in the Elite Eight. Fortunate play for Rage. He has another chance. I was wondering why Crush looked so mad at an incomplete pass, and then I looked down and I saw inaccurate, and I went, he was double covered on the outside. Wilson on second down. Rolls outside. Playmaker up the field, but no one's there. He'll have to chuck this out of bounds. Great defense. Back-to-back -back plays by Rage. Yeah, great coverage defense right there. And Rage in a tough spot now. Third and ten here. Still in that strong close. Crush needing to hold him. He's yelling, one stop. I just need one stop. Can bring Harrison back across the formation. Pressure up the middle, it's got to get rid of it, but he cannot. Who else but Deion Jones making the play? Hurry back to line fourth and 17. Here we are again, Crush guys. Time out Here we are again. It. Here we are again. Same situation. Here we go, Nick. This is why you play, this is why you watch. The Madden Challenge to go to the Elite Eight. Does Rage have one dot in him? Wilson under center. Who will he look for? Can they pick up the pressure? Rage's tournament life hanging in the balance. Look at all those routes down the field. Harrison split out to the left. Can Russell Wilson make one play to stay alive? He's looking for the out route, the smart route, and out Thank route. And Shaq Griffin says, your tournament hopes are over. Crush's defense gets a stop. Yeah, there it is. Just nothing there. Rage just hoping, playing, throws that deep out route, and Crush is all over. It comes up with the big pick, and that might do it. He's got three timeouts, needs to come up with a stop on three straight plays, and then... We're going to try some unorthodox. Get the ball back, make a drive. This all sounds easy when you just list it out like that. Just get some stops, get the ball, and score. Ain't no way yeah, he still He does before. have three timeouts. There's still a chance, Ain't but no he's way. got to stop him quickly, use Ain't those timeouts, no and get it back as fast as possible. Crush repping the 818, boys. Strike up the middle. There's one... There's one shred of positivity for Rage right now. It's that Crush has not been able to run the ball. Yeah, and Crush went with an auto motion power O right there. And I, I saw a little smirk. I don't think he's ran that all day long. Power O is a good run play this year, but I haven't seen him run that, trying to catch Rage off guard right there. How many auto motion runs do you have in your playbook? That's a that's a firm zero? Firm zero. Or not not one? <laughs> no, like halfback ace power where it takes four and a half seconds to snap the ball? No. I see not. I see the entire desk shaking their head. They're like, no, no auto runs. 17 to 13. Drake outside, S spinning, stumbling, bumbling to the 48-yard line. Timeout taken. Yeah, Drake is like flying through the air right there to pick up four yards. But here we go, third and six. Coming out in that single back, deuce close. Look for another stretch here. 
maybe even a halfback wham or something, but I, I, I think Stretch try to get the outside and make a play. Both players started 0-2 in groups, both an opportunity to move on. Right now, crushing control. Stretch run outside, can Donkins make a play? He went for the hit stick, and Drake's gonna make it. GG's in the chat. How about Crush's resilience, TD? Starts out 0-2 with